Your favorite duo is back. We are going book shopping with Alex. And if you guys saw one of my like older videos, we went to a bookstore for the first time with Alex. And she'd literally never been to a bookstore and just kind of was like, you read for fun. Like, I don't understand that. And literally now she's obsessed with books. So in this video, we talk about books, laugh about books. We go book shopping and just have the best time in the bookstore. So make sure you're subscribed because there's new videos every single day for the entire month of October. And I hope you guys enjoy. Guys, we're back and better than ever with the duo that you love y'all i'm a book girly now y'all it's over like i love it all like i will ignore my boyfriend's call so i can keep reading books like you remember when last like last time you were like so you just be reading for <laughs> If you guys missed the last video you have to go back and watch it but alex we went to the bookstore for the first time was it last month was it last month september it's beginning or, of september month, yeah beginning of september we went to the bookstore for her very first time i'm gonna go into books a million have you ever been to books a million before no <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing about no, i was talking to them when you were, when you were looking down oh what are you saying I like books a million <laughs> you said that you like to read i do but i get myself the amazon oh I i've that. never been to a bookstore so i'm <gasps> Never? I've never been to a bookstore. No, you're not serious. No, I'm for real. Not you're even not serious. Noble. Yeah, for real. I've never been to a bookstore. <gasps> I've had no desire to go to a bookstore. What? But my life is about to change. It's literally <laughs> about to change. Oh my god, I'm so excited. You've never been? No, I've never been to a bookstore. I mean, the library at school. Oh. And I was like, oh, well, like, we didn't even plan on doing it. We were just going to go out to eat. And I was yeah. like, oh, let's pop over to this bookstore. She's like, you go read for fun? Like, you like to read <laughs> I for saw a girl in the comments, and she was like, she really put that if you have a whole YouTube dedicated to books. I was like, the shade, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you, and then now you're, like, obsessed with books. Yes. Y'all, I'm a, what is it? I like rom, what is it, the romance? Romance? But y'all, I like a little spice. So, <laughs> before in the last video, she was like, I'm going to try to find a clip. Oh, my God. I I'm going to <laughs> Introduce her. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, you legit read let's go. Fun? Yes. Maybe we'll find me a book today about a Christian love story with yes. no spice. Yes. 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 <laughs> and then we were like, I don't want any spice. I'm like, okay, we'll try spice and try like no spice. Did mm -mm. you try? Did you read? I tried. Else? No. Mm, I, it's okay, but I feel what like I was watching a Lifetime us? what over uh, and over. Um, what did you read without spice? The one, the high school. They were in high school. She fell in love with the boy. Uh, Better than the movies. No. Yeah, that one didn't have no spice, and uh -huh. neither did um. Excuse watch me. Watch uh, Yeah, that one. I was like, mm. <laughs> I like had to force myself to get through it because yes, I just you're like I need the spice. I, said, I need a little, a little something. Like you can at least give me lifetime with a little bit of spice. But that was just lifetime, like PG. <laughs> God, she's read in the first week. You'd finish what four books? Yes. In the first week, in her first week, and then. I think by the end of the month you finished all yeah all eight in like two weeks or something. Yes. I think she bought eight books while she was here. You bought yeah eight I books. bought <laughs> y'all. She's freaking crazy. She keeps sending me books in the mail. I said, Shauna, I'm moving. <laughs> Don't send any more books to this address. I think be that, bad. How many did I send you? So we bought eight here, and then you sent me nine. You sent me nine books. And I sent you like six more just now. Yes, but which is nice because I've just been borrowing books from yeah. people reading them because they're not technically my own. But oh but also when people like. People, I feel like, recommend books based on what they like. Mm -hmm. I feel like I have a good idea of what you mm -hmm. what you would like. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know. Oh, can I tell them about the housemaid? Yes! Oh my gosh, so... Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so the last time she was here, I was like, you should try a thriller. Because you guys know I like romance and thrillers. And we looked at Verity, and she was like, ooh, I don't know if that's like a little scary. I'm like, okay, okay. Then she read The Housemaid by Freedom McFadden. Y'all in one day. I've never read a book in one day. Guys, like, she's a book girly. Like, she's like, obsessed with books. Oh, my God. I was telling Ty, that's my boyfriend, I was telling him about the housemaid last night. He said, this is a book? <laughs> he said, Alex, you just gave me all the visuals. I said, I know. It feels like a movie, though, doesn't yes, it? Yes. Like, the housemaid changed it. Yeah. I want thrillers now. I'm yeah. like, oh, I like the book. <laughs> but I was scared because I was at home with the boys so by myself. Like, I was like, let me close this book for now. <laughs> It's dark outside. <laughs> her and her books are like that you can get through them so fast. Yeah, I think you sent me some. Yeah, I sent you Never Lie, and then I sent you some other um, popcorn. The popcorn thrillers are thrillers that like you get into really fast. That's what I need. Yeah, because there's some thrillers where they like take a while to build and like I don't they got like books like that. And, uh -uh, no, I, I learned that about myself. It is so hard for me if if you're not like catching my attention off that. 
I don't want nothing to do with you. Mm -hmm. Like, and then you read like, before I let go. Yes. I showed. If you guys missed, I made like a TikTok and then like a real Instagram. You guys gotta follow me there if you're not. But I made a video because she sent me this Snapchat of her literally crying, like bawling, like her best friend died, just like bawling no. like a baby. And she's. Ooh, I'm about to cry thinking <laughs> about it. That book, girl. That book. When you found that growth, look legit. <laughs> growth in that black yes man. yeah okay, i'm not gonna spoil anything oh, sorry but oh my gosh the the scene whenever they were like they did the flashback and they're in the bedroom do you remember that scene they were arguing and like you kind of figured out why they like broke things off and she's oh, like crying. what about oh yes. oh you gotta speak in code oh, i'm trying okay. to speak yeah, so yeah, i don't spoil yeah. it for anyone who hasn't read oh, it but yeah. oh my gosh that scene when they're like going back and forth yes, in the bedroom it's late girl. at night I can I just crying. imagine that. Oh my gosh. I was crying. You cry thinking about it? No, that was such a... I think that's my favorite book. That was a five I out think, of five for me too. Yes, I think right now. But Housemate, mm, I don't know. <laughs> but Love in Other Words, Love in Other Words and Before I Let Go was definitely like... Me too. Top okay. tier. Yeah. But Before I Let Go was just so... And you saw the character growth in everybody. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Can you believe the terminology I'm using? <laughs> <laughs> the thing, to think that freaking like a month and a half ago you yes. were like you read for fun <laughs> and now she's like it's like a movie like it you is. cannot she went to the dollar store yesterday and bought some books because and she went to walmart so we weren't even supposed to like meet up to go to books a million today we were supposed to like go to books a million next week right and she was like Shaughnessy, I'm I'm going to Books a Million without you. And I'm like, do not go without yes, me. Yes, I was. I was coming without you. And isn't it like an hour drive for you to get yes. here? Yes. And me too. It's an hour drive. I'm like, girl, you are not going without me. So I was like, okay, let's go like a week ahead. No, she's created a monster. What was your least favorite book, do you think? The least favorite book. Because you I read like it eight, was right? My least favorite was, uh, I think, don't, don't shoot me. What is it? I think watch me why excuse me why ugly cry. Oh, I don't care. That that book for me was cute, but I think the thing that I didn't like about it was and I talked about this on like another video. I didn't like how she they had the whole trope of her like not really loving her blackness. That yeah. was weird to me. Like remember when she was like the dad was like, Oh, are you gonna try to like steal and like and you know that's what set me off. That was weird to me. I was like, okay, so you like hanging out with white people more than you hang out like hang out with yes, black people. Yes. Like, and you're black. That was weird to me. And when he I forgot the boy's name, whenever he came over to visit or whatever, and then he was like, What are you doing here, the dad? Yeah, like he thought he was And I'm like Yeah. He I was looks like, like you Right. It just, yeah, it I'm set like, me okay, off. so you'd rather have yeah. your daughter like hang out with people that don't yeah. look like you. So I talked all about that. Like, so I I totally get it. Yeah, yeah I just didn't like that one. Mm -hmm. But um I'm trying to think of another one. I did like uh, uh, Reminders of Him. Oh, you did? Yeah, like it had a nice amount of spice. But I think I like... Do you like, like a lot of spice, sis. a medium, or not? <laughs> it just depends if, you know... <laughs> It depends, because sometimes I'm in a mood for just like a cute little spice, yeah, you know. Like but sometimes bit. I need spice, <laughs> you know. Like, and the fact that you were like, I don't want any spice. Like, yeah, I well, I didn't it. know, but now I'm like, okay, if it's a love story, I need to, I need, need a little spice. spice. Well, I got a gift. I got some what? gifts for you. Oh, okay. Um, this girl, <laughs> more books. So I read this one, and I actually already owned a second copy. So I didn't buy this one. I'm giving you my additional copy. <gasps> Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. And I did buy the other one, but, um, so real by Candy Ryan. Oh, okay. oh this my girl. Yes. I read it so good so it doesn't it doesn't it can't top before I let go because I mean that book is like yeah, incredible but, it's still but good. it was very good her writing yes. is so freaking good oh, you're gonna fall so in love with them and there's spice in it can you believe I'm learning authors names yes too? Like, yes so now when you like read the back and it mm -hmm. has like well I guess this one doesn't have it but like sometimes on the back of books mm -hmm. it'll have like a blurb from another yeah. author you're gonna know who the author is yes are. oh and then I'm I got excited. another book so this book um Brady got me this gift. It was like a really sweet gift where I go to Chicago and I go to 10 different bookstores. Yes. On your so, story. one of the things was to pick a book to buddy read with someone. <gasps> so, I picked a book. And if you want to My buddy read with me, crazy. <laughs> her feet went crazy. If you want to buddy read with me, yes, I would be ever so honored. Oh my gosh, I would love to. And this is the book that I picked. Oh. It's Grown by Tiffany D. Jackson. I've read one of her books. 
They're so good and so okay. enjoyable. You so haven't started. Have no, you? I haven't started. Mm -mm. I've I waited. I so I haven't. I've, I've waited. Okay. This is supposed to be a play, not a play, but it's supposed to be like reminiscent of the whole R. Kelly situation. Oh, spicy. Yes. Look at so she's like a young okay. artist and then an older artist finds her and like gets her to pop off. But okay. then I think there's like a not so good relationship between them. So okay. that's what the book's about. Okay, awesome. Yay. And her so books are, are like, it? whenever you want to start, we can start today. We can okay. start whenever. Just okay. let me know. You can, whatever you want to do. Okay, because I just started uh, Twisted Love. Oh, tell me how that, Twisted Love or Twisted Hate? Which is the first one? Sis, the first one is Twisted Love. Is it, okay. Is it blue? Yay. Okay. <laughs> Look at you. She knows. I'm like, oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, you had me confused for saying, like, Okay, wait, wait. I had to ask because she went to the bookstore yesterday and bought It Starts With Us by Colleen Hoover. And I said, that's the second book. But honestly. I, didn't, I took it back. I oh. didn't know that. I was like, what the heck? I was like, I thought the name of it. Why would the name of that one be? be it starts with us. You're right. Yes. I mean, it starts with just us should have been silly. the first one. It ends with us should have been the ending. Yeah, but. so I'm going to just wait. I was like, I was salty. I was like, you said, uh, Alex, that's the second one. I'm like, well. <laughs> well, tell me how you like Twisted uh, Love because I, I haven't read it read yet. I'm it. I, so I have this thing. When I first started like reading, I would only pretty much read what people recommended on BookTok. Mm -hmm. But then I realize mm. that sometimes it'll be like books that like don't necessarily resonate with me. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like books that are like, I love America. We live in this small town. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, this is not, mm -hmm. that's not the vibe that I like mm -hmm. really resonate with a lot of the mm -hmm. time. And like, you don't really see black authors on there. Um, so sometimes I don't trust book talk until someone that I trust reads the book. Mm -hmm. And then I'm like, okay, if they read it and they liked it, then I'll probably like it. Maybe that. that's why I liked uh, Before I Let Go and Love and Other Words for so much. Because mm -hmm. it was just like real life. Yes. it was. But that twist at the end of Love and Other Words. Wait, which one? I know! Girl! I know! I Did you like, not fall in love with Elliot though? Like, Yeah, and I had an image in my head of what he looked like and everything. <laughs> like, yes, Elliot was doing it for me. <laughs> books and the reading in yeah, the closet. Yeah, but I think that's why I like oh. those two so much because it was just like, like, and then before I let go it was just so like. It felt real. Like, yes. when they went to the picnic uh, and that girl like showed up, remember? What was her name? <laughs> what was her name? What was her name? Well, don't say it because I don't want to spoil. Oh, oh, sorry. Right. Y'all was going to say you it. Yeah, talking coach. She's like, <laughs> she showed up. They don't even know because you yes. don't know at the beginning of the book that well, she, there's. She peed me off. Me too. I'm like, okay. Mm, she made me And then at the dinner. Remember at the dinner? <laughs> Girl, I just thought I just thought she was flat out disrespectful. I I did too. <laughs> I didn't like her at all. Your didn't face. like her. Didn't like her at all, y'all. Well, we're gonna go inside and see. Is there any other book that you want to talk about? No, I think. You She's know, been texting right now, other people about books, and I'm like, y'all been cheating. I'm like, do I'm not. Cheating. This is like you need to be texting me about yeah. books. Like, I'm not a controlling friend, but when it comes to books, like, Girl. text me. <laughs> My boss, uh -huh. like I think I'm, I know I'm her favorite because yeah. if I didn't work with her, I'm sure we'd be friends. Yeah, like, oh man, we are friends. That's kind of nice. But um, she like, she's obsessed with you, <laughs> and then like she's like, oh my god, I want her to be my friend. I'm sorry, <laughs> she's taking. Or she's, she's well, taking. Shoot, I'm about to text her. I'm about to text your boss. What's her number? <laughs> no, no. But I just think it's so funny because she always wants to talk books. I'm like, okay, I feel, but I do be feeling like I'm cheating on you. <laughs> like, I met the girl at the gym and she sent me all her recommendations, but I'm thinking, sis, I don't really like stuff like that. She likes sending like Harry Potter type stuff. Well, you sent and me like, something. Um, It was like one of your friends was reading that was like super spicy. And she was like, oh, have, yeah. she was like, have you heard about this book? And I'm like, that's a reverse harem. Like, and if you don't know what that is, that's like three dudes, one girl. So you I was, told me that. I it said was the word she used, remember? And I was like, that's what that means? Yeah. You said yes. I was like, uh, <laughs> I'm like, you might like it. But, and that's what I mean yes. by like, a lot of people will recommend books that they like, mm -hmm. but they won't think like, what do you like? And I'm like, I don't mm -hmm. know if you're ready for, I get it. Thanks. Like, uh -huh. I don't know if you're ready for <laughs> three dudes, one girl. I mean, maybe, but like, you just started mm, Yeah, no. <laughs> Uh, I didn't know the fine print was a uh, uh huh a series. Yeah, uh, I think I love series. Me too, because you like feel like you're part of the world. Mm -hmm. Have you, you read the fine print? Yet? No, no, I haven't. I'm waiting for it. my boss. It's so Cause good because she wants to read it. She wants to read it with me. <laughs> But, yes, we are, but you read, I mean, everything I have, you've already read. That's so true. we can go in here and find another buddy book. That we read. can read, yeah. Or you can, I don't know, start Twisted Love. 
<laughs> I could. Have you started? You just started? I just started in the okay. car. I literally uh-huh. just started. Look at her. She started the book in the car. Yeah, I was waiting. So I was like, oh, no. <laughs> I read it all my free time now. Do you really? Yeah, I, I try not to scroll. Because I just it read. makes a huge difference. Yeah, it's like, not like like sounding like I'm smart, even though I just learned the the word in the book. Well, it's nice because you have a whole community with like people. Like when you're talking about the girl at the gym, it's like you have something to talk about that like no one even really knows. Yes, like you know girl, the books. People and, go crazy about books. Yes, I'm shocked. Like every time I post everything she sends me on like my Snapchat, people be like, "Oh my god, I read that! Oh my god, you should read this!" I guess kind of overwhelming <laughs> because so many people send so many like, and I'm just like, "Let me read the books I got." Yes, <laughs> like, I got so many and. Don't even go on TikTok. Don't even look at BookTok. I did. Talk. Girl, I tried to find a spoiler for Housemaid. Because Alex! I was like, yes. <laughs> because it was getting so tense. And I'm, like, when I'm watching a movie, I'll Google what's about to happen. Do you because really? Because I can't, my anxiety, I just feel like. <laughs> you like, I, I gotta know? Yeah, but none of, them was, no, none of them was telling what happened. They That's one like, thing a lot of people don't spoil. They try not to. Yeah, it made me kind of mad. <laughs> <laughs> so you actually had to read the book. Well, I actually, I skipped to the back. Alex! <laughs> Then I read one page and it told me everything I needed to know. And then I went back. And it was still, it was still. That is terrible. But I mean, I guess if it helps your anxiety, then, you know. I just can't take it. I'm like, I gotta know what happens. I gotta know what, and I'm not a fast reader. Yeah. So it's like, okay. It's gonna take a minute. Like, come on. Well, I sent you this book, The Last Word, and it, it made me like. For real? Yeah. So I don't know. Maybe you'll have to figure out if you want to read that one or not. But that one literally made me like. What was the C word book you sent me? Consent, cons. I don't know, girl. When people get weak on Snapchat. What was the the C-O- cover? Oh, what was the cover? I think it was a man. Oh, continuum. That's the word. Okay, I thought that's what it was. I was like, like, I can't even say this word. I'm like, continuum. <laughs> yes, there it is. Like, continuum by Daniel Allen. So she did like a haul on her Snapchat, but she was like showing the books and stuff, and she goes. I don't even know what this word is, so oop. And she just like threw the book. I'm like, you, you throw it. I, did. I, did. You didn't throw I was it. just like, I'm not even gonna try to say the word, but this, 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 this that's 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 that book. <laughs> okay, sorry, keep talking. We can go. No, on. you're good. Yeah, we can go. And we've been talking for 16 minutes. I'm gonna put a timestamp. No, uh, yes, I'm gonna put a timestamp in this because anyone who doesn't want to watch us chatting, then they can skip to the book part. Oh my gosh. When we get together, we just be doing I know. This. Anyway, I'm going to put a timestamp in here. So then anyone who wants to skip to the book park can. Because, well, we only see each other. What I was saying was we only see each other like once a month. Because she lives, what, two hour, two and a half hours from me? Mm-hmm. This is the middle. Yeah, so this is like a middle ground. So we meet at Books a Million. This is only our second month doing this. But um, we'll only meet like once a month. So we probably won't get together for another month. So we'll probably talk just as much <laughs> think that it's probably going to become more frequent. I hope so. Because, because you're going to be like, I can't. Yes. I can't wait. And I feel bad going here without you. <laughs> I'm like, dang, I feel like I'm cheating on her. <laughs> Anytime I talk to anybody about books, I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> I have to tell you. But that's the fun part of books, like, is when you can, like, talk to people about it. Because once you start, like, reading even more books and having more authors, and people be like, well, what do you think I should read? And you're like, oh, don't yeah. even ask me. Like, read this, read this, read yes. this. But I like everything you send me. Like, other people, I feel like, like you said, you're getting mm-hmm. to know what I actually like. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, I'm trying to wait till we move before I just, like, because mm-hmm. I know once I start, I get distracted. And yes. I'll, instead of packing, I'll be reading a book. And that's why, so I got you a lot of books that are, like, quick you hop mm-hmm. in pretty fast like you get to the end pretty fast but there's some books out there and people like this is why you can't take everyone's recommendations <laughs> because some of these books that people recommend will be like slow or like it'll be by an author that they already like and so it's like okay you already like that author but like i don't know the author and so the book yeah. is just, just not hitting um but i think yeah. i like sister frida <laughs> Is she black? She's no. Hispanic? No. She a person of color? No. She's white. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. I, su- she's, I support all isn't what's <laughs> Isn't what's cool, though, is that she, um, she, <laughs> since it's Sabrina, she, uh, is, a uh, like, in brain surgery or whatever. Isn't that cool? She what? Remember I was saying that she, like, works with people who've had brain trauma? Oh, you did tell me? Yeah, oh, so, so like, we do. Oh, sorry, the books really that she like writes her. are literally for people yeah. who've had brain trauma. Especially so. the field that we both, you know, come from. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay, healthcare. it's perfect. Yeah. It's perfect. 
Yeah, she's great. She's doing we great love things. Sister Frida. We're gonna find some other good thrillers in there because I bought you, I think, six. Let me show you guys because I know you guys are gonna ask what Girl, books I bought she her. keeps buying me books. I'm like, what the heck? She gonna fill my hope? Honestly, oh my God. I just like talking about. There's something special about like you becoming a reader in the last month and a half. Mm -hmm. Feel feels very special, and it feels special that I get to be a part of it. Mm -hmm. You know, like it was you, your fault. You'll read for the rest of your life, but yes. like I kind of contributed to it. Gabe so is, Gabe is mad at me because I make him read now. Yes, <laughs> I, he, and he not, I thought he liked to read. He liked to read. He liked to read like Dog Man, like those type of books. Gotcha. Like, no, sweetie, you're gonna, you're gonna read, read a, a book. 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 Yeah, you're gonna read a book book. But Ty's building me a book, uh, um, a book wall in my room. Ty's the best. He is, but girl, wait till you see it. I don't, oh, I can't wait. But I don't probably got that much. Feel. It's gonna be full, full. I bought you. Their Vicious Games by Joelle Wellington. That's by a black author. I bought Ace of Spades. That's by a black author. Both of those books. Did you ever watch the show Get Out or the movie? No, but I, of course, heard about it. It gives that vibe. Did you ever watch Squid Games? No. I had to stop because it was too gory. Okay, so Their Vicious Games is similar to Squid Games, but it's not gory. But, like, she goes into these games and, like, See, I can read about it. I just can't watch See it. See it, yeah. yeah. I bought The Last Word, which is the one that I said is, like, oh, it'll make you, like, whew. Bought Verity. This is the one that I wanted you to buy before, and that one has some spice in it. So it's a a thriller oh, and a, <laughs> a thriller and a, a got like some romance. And then I bought Never Live by Freddie McFadden. I kid you not, I was reading that book and I went out of town. I had to pull over on the side of the road because I needed to get to a point where I could stop. No. Like, I, so I'm like, this is like crack. Like, I've never done drugs, but like, this yeah. is my drug. Oh, goodness. I can't wait. And then, um, The Couple Next Door by Cherie Lapina. I also bought, um, that book because her books are similar where mm -hmm. they're like fast paced. Did you tell them I got in trouble at work? No. Well, I didn't want to out you. You know, I don't know who's watching these videos. Like, I don't care. <laughs> what they gonna do? They love me. The clients. What did they say? I just told them I can't be reading at work though. <laughs> But y'all, I still read at work, so if they can be on their phones, I can read a book. So I, I mean, and Ella, I agree. she reads, but she reads on her. Phone. She reads on her phone, so no. <laughs> if they see this, come for me. <laughs> You're like, wait, 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 wait. Like, I got bills to pay. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Take it back. But my boss, she's the one who keeps giving me books. Well, didn't she give you the housemaid? Yes. Uh, yeah. I mean, you can't help it. Like, she gave yeah. you the housemaid. Like, yeah. Whatever. But, okay. Sorry, guys. I keep talking. No, you're good. Let's go inside. It's been 20 minutes. 21 minutes and 40 seconds. Just saying. <laughs> Yeah, we do. Oh yeah. Uh, do they have hearts? Because you trying to make me care. I don't think they have hearts. <laughs> Someone at Barnes literally um, was like, "Yeah, you should get a cart." And they said, <laughs> "They said that they don't have carts because people don't need that many books." I'm like, "Says who?" Yeah. Like we. You definitely do. You definitely do. <laughs> uh uh, I got a limit today. Hey, Yo, I can only buy four to six. Books. Okay, we'll see by the end of this. Like you'll definitely have more than. <laughs> I actually just bought this book. Literally just got it. Oh, you did? You and uh, it. no, I was just gonna look at it. I literally just got it. What if we buddy read this one? <laughs> These are all book talk books. Let's see. Oh, romanticy. <gasps> did you read the back? No, uh-uh. Oh yeah, I did. I did, yes. So I look so good. He was killing women in the book. Yes. Business. Yeah, we gotta read this one. <laughs> No, I think we should buddy read this one. Yes, I'm getting it. Get. Okay, I own it already, so I'm down. Buddy read. Yo, Will we start that today? Oh, we just walked in. I know. You are You said you're going to have only how many books? This is the Girl, you have two books. You said you're only going to have four. You know they're coming out with a third one? Of the um, when? House May in June 2024. <laughs> how do you know this? I looked it up. <laughs> I haven't read that one, but I actually own the House My Secret. I have heard that it's not as good. So again, I'm volunteering you as tribute. Yeah. So you can read it and let me know. It should definitely get a little card. Yeah, I'll let you. Own copy for my own house. <laughs> See, this is when you know you're truly into books because she's already read this. She borrowed it from someone and now she's like, I need my own. I do, because I want to let people borrow it. My niece wants to read it. I'm, I'm dead. You're you're officially a book girl now. I have a big thing. Ooh, that is cheap. Well, this one's 17 .99. Oh, dang. <laughs> but these are only 20 Yeah. Oh, that's you're, really good. You're staying. <laughs> <laughs> I have a big thing. <gasps> I read this book. No. Wait, what are you talking about? I kind of want to get both of those. Girl, finish the first one. <laughs> I read this. This is so good. It's um. What's it about? It's a mafia romance. 
Oh lord. And they both are like on different sides of the mafia mm -hmm. and they like don't like each other and there's a marriage of convenience. It says it on the back so I'm not even spoiling it. And she ends up having to get married to him. She literally tries to poison him like the night that they get married because she like doesn't want to marry him. Mafias just scare me. No, but it's like, because there's so much- Cartel. Oh. There, but there's so much angst. Like there's so much, it's like, it's angsty because they're like, they're not supposed to be together and they don't like each other and then they start to like each other. And... Uh, I borrow yours. <laughs> Yes, I, wait, what book is it? The Perfect Mirror. Yes, yeah, so I own that book, haven't read it yet. So what the heck? <laughs> I'm gonna have to read all these books for you to read. <laughs> She's about to start the fine print and she literally was just saying that she thinks that she could get, should get all the rest of them. Ooh, I've never heard of this one. It's in the book talk section, what is this? He sees her as a little sister, she sees him as the love of her life. Ooh, I've never heard of this one. It says he's a voyeur, what's a voyeur? A voyeur? Yeah, what's that? It says she, he's a voyeur. I feel like, um, cause you're thinking of Voyager. Oh yeah. <laughs> he said, isn't that someone who roams on water? Isn't a voyeur someone who likes to watch someone? How do you say? Ooh. <laughs> isn't that what a voyeur is? All right, let me Google it. Hold on. I might get twisted again. Or should I read the first one first to see if I like, if I even like this? Read the first one. Figure out what a voyeur is. No, I don't even want to say it. No, I'm saying that. I'm be all no, scared. you can say it. A voyeur is somebody that likes to watch people do nasty stuff. What does the back say? I'm nervous to read in front of people. <laughs> well, you said you wanted to read it. I want to read it to myself. He's a voyeur. I can't read okay, it. Okay, I can't on, read, read, it. It. read it. In Garrett Port. <laughs> How old are we? In Garrett Port's line of work. That's a gift. As one of the owners of the player. <laughs> Wait, 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 I gotta read it. Oh, the book is called Eyes on Me by Sarah K Kate Kate? I'm not Ooh. buying this book, we'll just say that. His stepsister. Wait, what? <gasps> Ew! <laughs> it says he stumbles on a cam girl app and finds himself watching one person he should stay far away from, his stepsister. Who writes these books? <gasps> girl, that Loki sounds good. Stepsister? <laughs> That's what's so twisted about it. That's why you can't stop reading it. Cause it's his sister. This has to be dark romance. It has to be. That's incest. So dark romance is like those like books that are like this, where it's like kind of spicy, but also. Remember when you said you didn't want to read books with spice? <laughs> Girl, shut up. <laughs> Oh, Geneva. <laughs> Ooh, Geneva. Wow. I, I want everybody to be a person. <laughs> Who said that? Geneva? <laughs> this author's name is Geneva. <laughs> Who said, what's her name? Geneva? Geneva. Rosse. I also have Hennifer. that one, and I have not read that one. Geneva Rosse. That's her name. Her name is Geneva Rose. <laughs> Yo, look. I still need to read this. Okay, did you read the back? Yeah, it looks really good. I heard it's really good. Four people recommended it, so I'm like, okay, Ooh. four people tell me. It, I heard it's good too. My um, I trust, I trust, I trust is good. Yeah, you ain't read it. I haven't because there's so many. So there's, there's so, so many books many that books. we can read together. There are. So I can put that one back. Which one? No, 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 no. I'm at five. Okay, well that's your fault. <laughs> Guys, I've heard this book is so good. You have to get this. I'm thinking, I'll think about it. I've if I find something so, better, I'm getting it. I've heard it's so good. Like, like so, so good. So why haven't you read it yet? Because <laughs> it's next. It's next on my list. It's next. It's so good. I've heard it's like before I let go good. You're trying to, um, <laughs> you're trying to manipulate me. I am. Let's put it in there, okay? <laughs> you trusted me before. Now she's in a book. She's like, I can pick my own. <laughs> So it's dark romance, which is a difference. Dark romance is kind of like that book I was telling you about mm -hmm. up front. It's like, it's romance, but it's like kind of messed mm -hmm. up. So this book was about a girl who gets kidnapped and she gets kidnapped with her sister's fiance. Yes, I'm reading it. Yes, and the guy is like sick. You read it? Girl, it was, it was wild. Okay, we're gonna it put it wild. in there. We don't know if we're getting it, we're gonna put it I in there. I feel like you're gonna be a dark romance girl. I'm a romance girl, period. <laughs> all romance. I mean, I will say I didn't rate it like super high. I rated it like 3.5, but mostly I think, which isn't bad, like mm -hmm. it's fine. But I think I rated that because I wasn't like, I mean, it was like, it was pretty sick. 
Like it's for real? Yeah. But it's like dark romance is kind of like a mix between romance and thriller. See, I might like it because something wrong with me. <laughs> I've been in a Christmas mode, so I'm thinking, I don't know. <laughs> I think I might get this. It's a constant battle on set between the sexy, grumpy, renovation, reality star. Oh, this isn't Christmas. I thought this was Christmas. Also, Lucy score is a little spicy for me. Like, mm, sometimes her books are a little too spicy. We're gonna, we're gonna put this back, but the cover is so cute though. You know what's wild? I haven't picked up one book. And that's not right. I think it's because I've been shopping for her. Like I've been finding like, like I was like, oh, this is good, this is good. Girl, so I, this, this is the book I just showed her. The Other Woman, very good thriller. I read this, it's by Sandy Jones. I read this a couple years ago, I can't remember. Yeah, this is wild. Didn't you say you only get four? Show them I'm, how many I'm not got. getting all of them. Show them how many. <laughs> I can't really. <laughs> that's six, and seven. And we don't know if I'm getting this one, remember? Okay, so she says she wants something spicy. This girl turned oh, all the way around. That's spicy? No. Well, I mean, uh, okay. it is, but... Where is spicy? This is... That's dark romance. I want nasty. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Okay, I own this one. I heard that this is really good. So this... Ooh. Yeah, every book I tell her is really good. All right, put it back. This I is... I thought you were going to tell I me. I will say I only recommend books to you that I've read mm -hmm. because I know that they're good. That's so true. You do. Yes. I've never, like... All the books that I've shown you, like, even if I hear something's good, I'm like, I gotta read it first before I'm like, read this because sometimes hype, sometimes things are overhyped. Yeah. All those books in there, I've had. And you love them all. Well, except mm -hmm. for that one. But I'm one. hyping it. I love The Housemaid. But you I love The Housemaid. Oh, did you? Yeah. Well, I read why it you for read the second one. Cause I heard it wasn't as good, and I'm like, okay, if it's not as good, and not saying it's bad, but if it's not as good, I own it, it's on my list to read eventually. But if it's not as good, why not read the rest of her backlist, like her other stuff, like Never Lie, Locked Door, like so. I want to read those first, and Where's then Never Lie. Oh, we need. I bought that for you. Is so. it good? I bought Did you? It. Yeah. It's gonna oh, be there in the Tuesday. thriller. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, it's so good. But I want to read the rest of her books, and then if I get to the end of her books and I haven't read anything, then I'll read. Then I'll read that one. I've heard this book is good. It's called Ben's Your Pleasure. Now, this is about a girl who is very, a very sex positive book. The girl, she has sex with this guy, and after she has sex with him, he's like terrible. Like, so bad at sex. Yeah. And so, after the bad hookup, like, it's just the worst, she ends up like seeing him again. I think she like sees him at work or something, and I don't know if he expected her to be like, ooh, that was great or whatever, but she was like honest and I think she was like, it wasn't that great. So he's like, will you give me lessons? So the book is like her giving him lessons on like how to be better at sex. This book, I've never read it. It's called My Dark Vanessa. And it's about a girl who is a teenage girl and she's like in love with her teacher or something. And then he gets in a relationship with her and like exploits her. And so the whole book is, I think told, I haven't read it, but it's told in the future and past tense. Mm -hmm. And the future is like, she's trying to get over mm -hmm. this like messed up relationship because obviously that's not healthy or a good dynamic. Um, and then you also see the past when she's like obviously in a bad relationship with her teacher. Haven't read it, but I wanna read it. This author right here is one of my favorite authors. I've read five of her books. I've read this one. Mm -hmm. I've read this one. I've read uh, this one. I've read this one. And then, yeah. We'll wait. One, two, three, four. There's one more book that I haven't read that's here. I've read five. Oh, Malibu Rising. It's not over here, but I've read that one too. All right, we got a lot of we got a lot of books. I got one. So I feel good. <laughs> I got one, but I think part of the reason I got one, because I don't think I've ever gotten one book in a bookstore. I think mm -hmm. part, the biggest reason I got it was because I was getting so much joy of showing you books. Let's Girl, show her back. She was trying to break the bank, but I was like. Mm -hmm. You did. Look, you got to show them before you show them the book. Show how big the bank is. Yes, and it's heavy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you can show them yours. Okay, tell them which ones I got. Yeah. Okay. 
So I got the housemaid secret, yes. which is the second to the housemaid, which is what I was talking about earlier yeah. that, you know, hooked me. It's so good. Are you going to go or you want me to go? Do no, you mine? go ahead. Okay, you you do yours and then I'll do mine. The perfect marriage. I don't really know what this one's about because I don't really read it, but everybody said to read it. So I'm going to Didn't someone, to, you know, recommend that one too? Like two, three people did. Yeah. yeah. I've heard that one's good too. It's on my TV. Yes. Um, oh, I didn't say the author. Geneva Rosé. Uh, <laughs> That's not her name. I think it's Geneva Rose. I've heard. I literally really have heard that people sob over this book like, oh for real yeah in a good way like it's I so hard i might really like kennedy ryan me too we'll see but i think i might like her mm -hmm. she might be a friend of mine um then <laughs> might be like not yet we got the locked door well she already has it but we're gonna read it together yes. because you know why not i feel like we're both gonna finish it in 24 hours probably i hope so because her writing is just so good because y'all the back can i tell them what the back says yeah about, um, uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. This girl, she didn't know her daddy was locking people in the basement and killing them. Uh, Wild. So that's all that got me. I didn't even have to read no more. Right. That's all I need to know her daddy was killing people. Right. In the basement. Oh, and then I had to get my own copy because I had borrowed somebody else's. But I'm like, no, what if I want to read again? Or what if I want to loan it to somebody? I need to have my own copy. And that's when you know you're a book girl. Because, like, you've already read it. And she's like, I want to own it. And I want to be able to, like, give it to other people. You yes, think you're going to give it to your sister out. you said to read? No, let my niece borrow Your niece, you think, okay. I think she's 15. She can okay. handle that. Probably. Yeah, probably. I have no gauge on children. Maybe she can't. I have no gauge on children. But she's very mature for her age. She probably could. But yeah. maybe not. Maybe not emotionally. And then we got, what is it? Still beating. Mm -hmm. You don't want me to get this. Cause... You said you wanted some spice and you also really like thrillers. And I feel like dark romance. I mean, I've only read freaking three or three dark romances. Mm -hmm. And... They remind me of thrillers, but they're romance. So, mm -hmm. like, it kind of has a little bit of both. I feel like you'll like it. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm very excited. Mm -hmm. I'm very excited, guys. And then I got Lotus, the only book I got, which is actually the second book after Still Beating. It's by the same author. Oh, yes. I didn't know that. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, that's... Look at them together. They're so cute. They look like cousins. <laughs> they do. Just like us, even though we're not cousins. And we don't look alike. <laughs> but, Okay. <laughs> So I'm going to read the back of mine so I can tell you guys what this one's about because she told you what those are about and I literally don't even remember what this is about. It says, all these years I've never given my heart to anyone. The truth is I didn't have a heart to give. My heart was with a ghost. To the rest of the world, he was a little boy who went missing on the 4th of July, but to Sydney Neville, he was everything. Her heart hasn't been the same since her best friend disappeared, but she's learned to build her life around that missing piece. 22 years later, the last thing Sydney expects is for Oliver Lynch to return. Having been captive underground for decades, he's unfamiliar with the strange new world that awaits him, but he's alive. He's here, and no matter how he's changed, he and Sydney both still feel the connection that runs between them. <gasps> I remember... So this second book is actually about a character that is mentioned in that book. Okay. Yeah. I like when they do that, even though I've not read the second book yet yes, or something like that, yes. but I think that it's going to be cool. Yeah. Look at this. Wow. She should have gave huge. me a bigger bag. I paid 10 cents for this bag. <laughs> right. She should have gave me a bigger bag. Also, big the fact one. that you have to pay 10 cents for a bag is wild. And this <laughs> says, but as their reborn friendship begins to fall, to feel like something more, Sydney and Oliver realize there's still jet lag, painful truths, creating space, space between them. The walls Sydney has built don't want to come down, and as Oliver hunts for his miss, miss memories and lost time he realizes his nightmare is not yet over with nothing as it seems is there space for love to bloom in this dark place <sighs> i've been like liking dark romance so okay i haven't read very many but okay you know what i can't sorry what i can't wait for the second for, uh, before i let go oh my god i know i'm so like that waiting. story i'm like i'm trying to get her to start a channel guys comment below if you want her to start a channel like y'all if i did <laughs> I would be scared. No, you wouldn't. No, she is meant to be online. Like, ah! you're literally. See, that was me being scared. Girl. <laughs> <laughs> I have to start posting consistently first. I can. Yeah. But, but YouTube is different. Like, there's something different. Like, I'm. Obviously, I have a podcast. I have Instagram. Speaking of podcasts, Bro, I actually I didn't know you had a freaking podcast. Oh, so really? I, no, you never told me. Oh, till I went through your uh, search thingy. Uh huh. And I said this heifer has a freaking podcast. Yeah, <laughs> she didn't tell me. Yeah, I have a podcast. Also, the podcast. I don't feel like I talk about it enough because I don't even think I tell you guys. But there's a podcast. It just went up. It goes up every Friday at 5 a.m. The last episode was about how to read more books and like how I got into reading books. Like, what are my favorite book recommendations? All those things. So yeah, go listen. I'll link it below. I always link it below. But I have a podcast, TikTok, Instagram, but there's something about this space that, like, people will literally send paragraphs because, like, people want to talk and, like, I mm -hmm. send paragraphs back because I want to talk. Like, you just, the community's different. 
in a better like mm -hmm. it's better like i feel like you connect with people more i don't know if you guys feel the same way but like i feel like you connect i don't know you really think i should try it yes if you don't like it you don't like it i mean yeah. if you don't like it well we need more black like book tubers so do it i'll put up y'all you guys will go subscribe i know you will like i will i'll put you on and i'll be like all right here's your channel like I'm go so watch nervous. why now i have to work through with my therapist <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> We've been talking so much. Okay, we gotta go. Thank you guys Thank for watching. We'll see you well. guys in the next one tomorrow. Make sure you subscribe because there's new videos every single day. Also, comment if you want her to start a channel, please. Like, I need you to start one. A People would love. Talk? Yes, you. No, no, no. BookTube. We're cut out oh, TikTok, cut oh. out Instagram. BookTube. We're we're on YouTube. Like, we need the long videos. And also, that's the thing. Is like, if you talk. That's literally the point of YouTube. Like, people yeah. make hour-long videos. But I don't know all the, like, terminology like you. Like what? I don't know. Like, when you describe books, you be like... That's fine! Like, you can all learn together! Like, that's yeah. the point. Do it! <laughs> Alright, you guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow on the next one. Peace, love, and hair grease. Girl. <laughs> Bye, guys.